All right, our next piece of equipment is called a life jacket or a personal flotation device. Now, there's all kinds of life jackets that are made for, for whitewater kayaking. And some of the key elements for whitewater kayaking life jackets is full range of motion. Uh, the, the paddle jackets or the life jackets don't get in your way for your arms, for rolling, bracing, paddling. Um, the real key is that you just have the right size and you know how to stick it on and, and put it on safely. So I'm, I'm going to have Steven right here. He's uh, putting on a says zip up Lotus design jacket. Um, he's zipping it up. Notice that he's putting the zipper in a little holder so it doesn't accidentally get unzipped. Next thing he wants you want to do is he's going to tighten down the straps. These straps tighten you under the rib cage. And the purpose of getting tightened under the rib cage, notice there's a bottom strap. He's going to buckle it here. He's, he's going to make sure those are tight enough. Now, what the whole purpose of those straps is not just to keep it from moving around, but if we were to lift them up, it's tightened under the rib cage. The life jacket won't come off, which is obviously key. If you end up swimming down the river, you don't want the life jacket riding up under your neck. You want it being held down properly. That is a safe, um, floating, properly mounted, properly um, put on life jacket. So a, a, a great life jacket does not work properly if you don't properly adjust it. So make sure when you get the thing on, you have it all tightened down, grab the straps and lift up. Make sure that you can feel it pull up on your rib cage and that it doesn't want to come off. Life jackets come in all sizes. So Dane here has got a, um, one that's called the half pints for kids. It's the same deal, it only has two adjustment straps, but the same deal, it adjusts under the rib cage. So I can lift him up and the life jacket doesn't come off, which is, of course,